This is Mission Control Houston. We're getting close to uh, wrapping up today's ISS update as the uh, crew continues their work for their Friday afternoon activities. The crew has had a pretty uh, busy week this week with a variety of different uh, experiments and uh, maintenance work on board the International Space Station. Burbank spent some time earlier this week uh, swapping out some parts of what's called an amine swing bed. The uh, space station itself has a fairly large sized carbon dioxide removal assembly on board. This amine swing bed is a smaller, more efficient test version of a similar system that would scrub the air on board the space station. So uh, it is a project run out of the Johnson Space Center here in Houston. Uh, they've tested it in labs here, so uh, what better way to test it out than just putting it on board the station and uh, running it there and seeing how it works. So Burbank swapped out some parts of that earlier this week and then I got that amine swing bed back up and running. While he was doing that, Don Pettit was working on a, uh, an experiment called Burning and Suppression of Solids, or BAS. He did a few different test runs of that particular experiment, which takes a look at how things burn and uh, how flames react to being in space. Fire uh, detection and protection and suppression is an important uh, piece of, of flying aboard a spacecraft. This BASS experiment takes a look at how different things burn and how those fires could be put out. There's a theory uh, about how you would aim a fire extinguisher at the base of the flame because that is where basically the flame is born. That's where air gets fed into it. But of course, that may not react the same way up in space and in the absence of gravity and the absence of air. So this BASS experiment basically uh, takes a look at that to uh, find out how those fires could be uh, put out. Burbank also spent some time himself inside the Quest airlock scrubbing those EMU suits. Those are the space suits that the U.S. astronauts use anytime they step outside the station. That is some uh, routine work that he took care of, basically just pumping some water and some other items uh, into those suits, cleaning them out, making sure that there's no bacteria growing and that they're up and running uh, as expected. Burbank himself, as well as Shekaplerov and Ivanishin, getting ready to come home at the end of the month on April 27th. So that uh, particular portion of the Expedition 30 crew has uh, begun their deorbit preparations in earnest, getting everything together, uh, making sure that they've got everything uh, ready to go for their return on April 27th. The uh, crew will be closing the hatches at midnight central time, right on the dot, April 27th. And they'll be landing north northeast of Arklik there in Kazakhstan at 6.45 a.m. Central Time, again, on April 27th. The crew also spent some time talking with media here on the ground. They had their traditional crew news conference earlier this week as they spoke with various media here in Houston and around the country about life on board the space station. There you see Don Pettit, Dan Burbank on the far right-hand side. Andre Corpers there in the middle. They talked about all the different research activities that they have uh, going on. The upcoming SpaceX Dragon demonstration mission that uh, Don Pettit and Corpers will be um, an important part of. And also Dan Burbank's thoughts on the fact that uh, he's in his final two weeks aboard the station. So the crew spent uh, about a half hour or so talking with media uh, about those activities. The crew as a whole also getting ready to say goodbye to the Progress 46. That spacecraft has been docked with the station there on the pier's docking compartment since January. It's time uh, coming to a close, so they've been packing it up with final items and uh, trash that they don't need. That uh, Progress 46 will undock from the pier's docking compartment coming up on April 19th. It'll back away, spend a few days doing some engineering tests, and then it will be deorbited into a fiery destructive deorbit into the Earth's atmosphere. And finally, the big news of the week is that Don Pettit, Andre Kuiper, is getting ready to uh, welcome the Dragon spacecraft from SpaceX coming up on April 30th. They began two weeks' worth of training activities uh, on Monday, uh, taking a look at the onboard laptops at the robotic workstation there in the Destiny Laboratory. There you see animation of what it's going to look like once Dragon arrives at the station about 10 meters away. Don Pettit will be the one in charge using the station's robotic arm extending it out from the U.S. segment, grabbing onto Dragon, and pulling it on into the bottom side of the Harmony node. And that will uh, be a major milestone for not only NASA, but the SpaceX team there that has been working for uh, several years on this uh, Dragon, as well as the Falcon 9 spacecraft. Of course, for all the latest on this upcoming mission, we invite you to log on to www.nasa.gov slash SpaceX. And of course, we will have all the latest for you coming up on Monday 
as we bring you the pre-flight briefing from here at the Johnson Space Center after the conclusion of the flight readiness review here in Houston. We thank you for joining us this week. The crew has been uh, very busy. We invite you to join us again next week as Expedition 30 continues.